All right, another algebra video here, guys. This time we're looking at something called binomial products. Now, a lot of you probably aren't going to remember binomial products, but remember this, the FOIL method. Okay, the FOIL method. If you remember the FOIL method and you practice using it, uh, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Now, FOIL is an acronym. It stands for first, outer, inner, last okay so first outer inner last now it applies to questions that look like this now this is a very particular type of question called a binomial product or a binomial expansion now you can see we have two sets of brackets and there's no space in between them which means that they're multiplied together there's a little multiply side in there so it's x plus 5 times x plus 2 Okay, so we're going to multiply this by this, and we're going to do it using the FOIL method. Now, first of all, we're going to do whatever the, the, it says. Now, it says first, F-I-R-S-T. That means go multiply the first term in the first bracket by the first term in the second bracket. So multiply this by this. Now, x times x is going to be x squared. Okay, so the first term by the first term. The next step is outer. Okay, now that means the outer term. So the things on the on the furthest, like so for the first one on the left and for the second one on the right. So multiply the outer terms. Okay, you can see I'm on the outside here. So x times positive 2 is going to be 2x. Now my next step is going to be the i for inner. That means do the inner terms, the ones that are on the inside. So that's going to be positive 5 times x. And that's going to be positive 5x. And the last one here is going to be last. That is the last term in each bracket. So in this case, it's the positive 5 and the positive 2. That's the last term in the last bracket. So positive 5 times positive 2 will make positive 10. Uh, we can just finish this off by grouping some like terms. We've got positive 2x and positive 5x. This usually happens with binomial expansions that you'll end up with two um, like terms. So just keep an eye on that. x squared plus 2x plus 5x makes 7x plus 10. And we've finished. We've expanded these brackets and turned it into this. Now, I know it might look silly that I've made these little curvy lines here, but you should be used to it by now. Uh, if you do it the way that I've done it, you'll see you'll end up with this nice sort of smiley face here. Um, that just let, makes that just reminds me that I've done everything that needs doing. Um, if you get in the habit, first, outer, inner, last, uh, you should start. Uh, getting these right more and more often. Don't be surprised if you get the first couple you try wrong. Uh, it's it's a really difficult concept. Uh, let's just try another one really quick. Okay, you can see this is another binomial product. It's a fraction, oh sorry, a bracket multiplied by another bracket. So if we just follow our FOIL rule, we shouldn't have too much trouble. The one we do first is first. So that is the first term from the first bracket and the first term from the second bracket looks like this. So x times 3 will be 3x. The next one we do is the O for outer. Outside, the outside terms. So x times negative x. Be careful, there's a negative in there. So x times negative x will be negative x squared. The next one we do is inner. That means the inside ones. Now that's negative 5 times positive 3, that's going to be negative 15. And then finally, last. Negative 5 times negative x. So a negative times a negative is going to be a positive, and 5 times x is 5x. So positive 5x. Now, as usually happens with binomial expansions, you'll end up with something you can simplify. You can see a 3x here and a 5x here, so they'll go together to make 8x. 8x minus x squared minus 15. Okay, so that's uh, the FOIL method. Uh, 
of expanding binomial products. As long as you, when you finish, end up with this little guy here, um, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Make sure that you do those, uh, those curves in there and you're good to go.